I've compiled 70 tips and tricks for the mid build in the finals in less than 12 minutes. From gun tricks to damage data secrets and map specific tips you've never seen before. Without wasting any time, let's jump into tip 1. The defibrillator can be charged in the air or while running. Make sure to charge it before you reach your teammate. Every gun has a recoil path that can be predictable and controlled. Above 9 meters precisely, the flashbang will only partially blind the enemy. Brightening things up. Throwing a grenade on a jump pad helps you throw it higher and faster than hand throw. Recon sense only gives an approximate outline of the position of a player, making it hard to tell if there are multiple players. The recoil path of every gun is different depending on the distance at which you're shooting from. Smoke canisters produce a thick enough fog to camouflage any object or color. Use it wisely. You can throw a cash box further and higher just by holding the forward button compared to being static even if there isn't real motion. Comms in the finals is your strongest weapon for victory. Make sure to turn it on, especially in solo queue. Rapid single fire is more precise at the distance than controlled recoil fire. You can't set the zipline on canisters, but you can set it on moving platforms, extending the maximum distance of the zipline. Got it. Nice. Frag grenade out. It takes four frag grenades to destroy a wall. Throwing a frag. Frag out. It also takes four frag grenades to destroy a floor. Throwing a grenade on a jump pad makes it possible to reach longer distances faster. It takes 7.45 seconds for the healing beam to cool down once on overheat. It takes 9 bullets in the head and 13 in the body to kill a medium build with an AK. In comparison, it only takes 7 bullets in the head and 10 in the body to kill a medium build with an F-car. For the light build, you can expect to kill an enemy with 5 bullets in the head and 8 in the body with an AK. For the F-car, 4 bullets to the head and 6 to the body will be enough to kill a light build. For the heavy build, things are a little more complicated. You can expect 10 bullets to the head and 14 to the body for an F-car. On the other side, you can expect 12 bullets to the head and 18 to the body to kill a heavy build with an AK. If you have two medic mid builds in your team, make sure to prioritize respawning him before your other teammates, so he can quickly use his defibrillator too. For more of the final tips and tricks, make sure to subscribe to the channel. It takes exactly 8 shots for the CL40 to destroy a surface. Unless it has double blinds, you actually do not need to shoot at the window to break it. Toxic gas grenades last 12 seconds and do 40 damage per second with a total max damage of 480. It takes 7.35 seconds for the healing beam to overheat. The gas mine lasts 12 seconds exactly, for a total of 600 damage.
A very fun way to kill an enemy is by using the defibrillator. Remember that it only does 50 damage per hit. There are two distinct throw modes for the frag grenade. One for further throws and one for short ones. Contrary to what most people think, you do not actually go faster by jumping or sliding. You might even go slower if you miss a single slide. Explosive mines cannot friendly fire, except if you are next to it when the enemy triggers it. The hitbox in the finals is quite consistent, but the limits of the hitbox itself are far from perfect. Poison canisters explode exactly 15 seconds after being shot. Your first slide is available after one step. If you want to avoid crawling, you will need to do two additional steps for the second. The Guardian turret always targets the closest enemy within its sights. The defibrillator only responds to teammates with 50% of their maximum health. Recon sense will only mark players within a 30 meter radius. The Guardian turret will stick to any surface, even broken ones. The sonar grenade will pulse three times and reveal the enemy no matter how far you are from the original impact point. If you run out of bullets and the enemy is low on health, the melee attack is a very fast way to finish them. The speed at which you shoot the R-357 doesn't influence precision or recoil. Breaking a generator will turn off electricity in its vicinity. The Model 1887 is only most effective within the first 10 meters. Damage is strongly reduced above that, even while aiming. Weapon recoil is the same while on a zipline as on foot. One melee attack does 75 damage, no matter where you hit. The healing beam can only heal up to 350 damage before it needs to cool off. Orienting your jump pad can help you dash your way around maps. It takes 10 FCAR bullets and 13 AK bullets to destroy a jump pad. Hitting someone directly with a cash box does 50 damage, no matter where you hit them. You do not need to wait to be at the end of the zipline to change your direction. Simply jump off and press the action button again while facing the direction you want to go in. You can aim to reduce recoil while sliding. Tracking the tracking dart lasts precisely 15 seconds per hit. Always make sure to check the patch notes if you want to stay competitive. Embark updates the game every single week. Jumping off a zipline gives you an extra speed boost. It takes 12 long shots to break a zipline, but only 2 melee hits. You do not need to press the action button to open a door, but you do need to at least be sprinting. You can mark up to 2 players at once with the tracking dart. The flashbang can flash for a maximum time of 2 seconds. You will jump faster and further if you are sliding while moving on a jump pad. Getting hit by the explosion of a flame canister will do exactly 100 damage before the flame damage kicks in. Big containers can be found around the maps of the finals. Their doors can be opened. This is a good way to hide, to heal up, or to take an enemy by surprise. You can activate buttons from far by simply shooting at them.
It takes three shots to the head or four to the body to make a kill with a CL40. But zone friendly damage will kill you in only three shots if you take max damage. You can catch back a canister, even after launching it. Only use your defibrillator in high intensity situations. For the rest of the time, make sure to use your normal reanimation. The maximum damage you can do per shot with the model 1887 is 125. The maximum distance at which you can set the zipline is 40 meters. You can shoot and reload while on the zipline. Explosive mines do up to 140 damage. The glitch trap does zero damage but blocks any ability for 10 seconds. This isn't doubled by setting two traps. Recon sense lasts exactly 9 seconds. If you want more of the finals videos, you can click on one of the videos showing on screen right now. Let me know if I forgot to mention any tips in this video.